Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add or subtract polynomials using algebra tiles. We are working on IXL Z3 on Algebra 1. So we have two quadratic functions or quadratic expressions in here. And the first question it says use algebra tiles to find 8x squared plus 3x plus 9 added to 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. Basically uh, this is to kind of give you the basics of adding and subtracting algebraic expressions using visuals. So what we do basically we count the number of similar or like items we have and then combine them together. So for the x squared in total we have 8x squared and 4x squared, right? But they can be represented as tiles uh, right here uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, which is that term right there, and then one, two, three, four. If we add all these like terms together or like tiles together, we are going to end up with 12 of those tiles. So each tile is called x squared, and we have 12 of them. So 12x, and then we want to put an exponent squared. And go down here. Let's see how many uh, x tiles we have. So for the x, we have one, two, three in here, which is right there. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these seven of them, when we add them together, we are going to end up with ten green tiles. And each green tile has a name. They're called x. So we have positive 10, oops, not that, let's just delete this, okay, okay, got it. So we have 10 green tiles, right? We have positive 10 green tiles, and each of those green tiles are called x. And then let's see how many ones we have. So the number of ones we have, I think we have nine in here, three, six, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. We have twelve of those ones, and if it says, for example, write three instead of one plus one plus one, we have twelve of them. So if you're gonna write positive twelve, uh, you're gonna write positive twelve in here. So that's basically what we do for this assignment. Let's submit it. Count the same uh, tiles and then put the numbers of them down. Okay, let's figure this one out. For the blue tiles, for the x squared tiles, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Take away 1, take away 2. So if we take away two out of four of those tiles, we are going to end up with two of them. So in total, we are going to have two tiles left. And then those tiles are called x squared. Looking at the green ones, we have two, four, six, eight, ten green tiles in there, right? If we see it, it is positive. And then how many of them are we going to take away? We are not taking away anything. There's no green tiles in here. So it's just still... 10x and since we see them it is positive now let's check the uh, ones out we have 3 6 and then there is this one here I was gonna miss that we have seven orange tiles named ones seven take away one take away two take away three so if we take away three out of seven we are gonna have we are gonna end up with six five and four so since those four are gonna left we will see them, we are going to have positive 4. So 2x squared, 2x squared plus 10x plus 4 is going to be the answer. Okay, this is. Okay, if you're not subtracting any x squared, uh, I will skip a level to see if it's going to get any difficult. Okay, this looks weird. Oh, the colors are all the same, so you need to figure out what to do. 
So let's do this one here. So we have, oh, these are all negatives. Okay, got it. Same colors represent the same sign, I guess. Okay, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So I have negative 6 of them, right? And then I'm going to take away, let me see, there's no x squared that I'll take away from here. So it's just negative 6x squared, right? I don't have any x squared on the right side. So I'm done with the x squares. Let's just clean this up to make it easier to read. Okay. Step two, let's figure out the x's. So there's one, two, three, four in there. And they are all negative. So it is negative four. So I have negative four. And then I'm going to take away one negative, two negative, three negative. So when we take away, we are going to decrease the number of what we have. So negative, we already had negative three. Take away all, we already have negative four. Take away three of them, we are going to end up with negative one. So negative one x squared or negative one x. And then let's do the numbers. For the numbers, we have five of them in here they are negative and we are gonna take away three of those negatives so let's just cross out three of the negatives from the first black then so one two and three we took away uh, three of them we ended up with negative two of them so negative two so that's just looking at it and uh, looking from another perspective instead of just crossing everything out you can just cross out the ones that you need to take away that would help as well uh, I will use that method in the next question and apply it to all of them. Negative uh, 6x squared minus 1x is the same as this, just negative x minus 2 Oops. would be the answer to this question. And then let's apply that uh, method looking at the negatives. I'm just going to apply that method with the negatives because when we add, oh, this is adding, we are not taking away anything. Okay, so with this one, we are not taking away anything. Uh, for the blue ones, it's easy. We have 10 of them in here. And then we are going to have 5 more. In total, we are going to have 15 of them. You don't have any green blocks in the first one but they're going to appear over here as addition. So we are going to add six more of the x's. Let's do the negative ones. So I have two negative ones in here, and I'm going to add nine and one more. We are having more negatives together when we add. So there's going to be negative 12 instead of negative 2. Neg we already had negative 2. We are going to add negative 10 more. We are going to have negative 12. That will be the answer to this. I just want to see if there are like negative subtractions. That's what I'm trying to figure out. If I can find one, I'll do that question. If not, I'm going to move on. Uh, this is another addition. Let me see if the, I can find a subtraction with negatives. I'll try one more time. If not, OK. I don't think there's any other. Uh, okay, this is this is good because we have negatives and positives. So this is the last example. We have ten of these blocks in here, and we are adding. We are going to have more of them because they are the same color right here. Five more. Then ten is going to be fifteen. So let, let's just put it up here. Fifteen x squared. And then moving on to the green ones, there's no green ones on, on the left side. We are going to add six of them. So if you're going to have six of the green uh, tiles, and let's do the orange or golden and uh, red ones. <coughs> so these are like taking away, right? And then these are all positive. So we are going to take away two of the ones out of what we have in here. I, I didn't see that one. So 
take away one of them take away the other one and that's how many positives we are gonna have so we are gonna have positive 7 we had positive 6x and then 15x squared from the previous two steps so that would be our answer to this question so thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you in another video let me know if this video helped you out